Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixer. Today we're going to be discussing how to test your charger on your Acer computer. The reason why we're going to be going over how to test your charger is it can cause symptoms uh, like, for example, if your battery won't charge, your computer turns on and then off, your computer won't turn on at all, or it freezes. Last three problems with freezing, won't turning on, or turning on and off. This is a step two in a diagnostic process. So if you find that this fix doesn't work for those problems, proceed to the next fix listed in the description down below. Also, if you find that you don't have the tools necessary to do this repair, not the end of the earth. Uh, you could always just go ahead and buy another charger. They cost about $10 on eBay and they're really easy to get. Uh, but anyway, that's enough talking. On to the repair. First step in testing your charger, take your multimeter, look at the dial, and you're going to select this setting right here. Once you've done that, it's time to gather up everything you need. You need your red and your black tester. You need your charger end, and it needs to be plugged into the wall, and you need to take the block and look at what voltage it says it should be putting out. For example, this reads 18.5 volts. So it should be near that if it's a good charger. It should be either maybe half a volt higher or half a volt lower. That's well within the margin of error for a charger that's working properly. Because if it's too high, it won't work. If it's too low, it won't work. Now you're going to take your black tester and you're going to set it on the outside of the charger. And then you're going to take your red tester and you're going to put it on the inside. Now that red tester needs to try to hit that gold post on the middle of your unit. And that's how you'll test it properly. Once you've hold this, the multimeter should read volts. And for example, this one says 19.04 within the margin of error that's correct for this charger. So this is a good charger. And this is an example of a bad charger. For 18.5, it should be significantly higher a reading. And that's how you test your charger. Thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully it helped fix your computer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'd like to answer them here quickly. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computers or you like being able to ask people who know what's wrong with your computer for free, go ahead and subscribe. And from one egghead to another, this is Liz signing out.